sorry about that guys my video cut off there so I went into the co-op I got a few bits came out and I decided that I'd like to go and sign the Rochester Cathedral Book of Condolences for the Queen and how difficult that was just to get to my flat to Rochester Cathedral busy people everywhere so I walked slowly I took it slowly and I walked up to Rochester Cathedral there was a woman stood there at the door and I said I'd like to sign the book of condolence she let me into the cathedral and me Crystal I signed the book of condolence at Rochester Cathedral in memoriam of Queen Elizabeth II there was a, two books some pictures of the Queen and I signed my name and a small little message at the Rochester Cathedral um, the memorial book I've signed it so I've done something I haven't sat indoors doing nothing I've done something inside the cathedral it was very loud there was a band playing loud music outside in the streets it was packed dog walkers charity shops open all the shops open and I haven't I don't I don't want to go shopping I didn't want to go shopping I just wanted to go out sign the book of condolence and come back and that is exactly what I've done I'm not going shopping on a Sunday I also noticed that car park attendants have been putting tickets on people's cars during the Queen's morning period so on a Sunday in Rochester Corey's Road and around where I live, the car park attendants, the ticket inspectors have been putting tickets on the public's cars during the Queen's morning period. As if the cost of living isn't rising already and bills are going up, the, the, the ticket inspectors are out looking for, to find people for parking. I saw them this morning when I was walking Max. So the car park ticket inspectors are out guys. Like I said I wanted to go and sign the book of condolence. It's not that I haven't got any money at all. I've got a little bit of money. I don't want to go spending money I haven't got because I need to pay my gas and electric and eat. But I have been into the co-op, Rochester Riverside, by myself. My son's away in another country. I didn't answer. I didn't answer my mother's phone call this morning because it depresses me what she says on the phone. Jennifer does not want to see me, her daughter, Crystal, till Tuesday. This is the Costa coffee I got, a latte. So I've got a latte. <laughs> and I've got a sausage roll. I've got a sausage roll this morning. So I'm not hungry. I'm not thirsty. And I've been into the co-op. Okay. It is very hard not to lose it. But I didn't. I'm quite happy here by myself. So Brian, B-R-Y-A-N, was talking to me, Crystal, on Facebook this morning before I went out. Brian. And he said to me, are you going out? And I said, no. But then I changed my mind and then I went out to sign the Book of Condolences at Rochester Cathedral. So Brian said to me, are you going out? He said he likes my profile pictures, this Brian. And um, I was talking to him. But now is not the time to get cross and selfish and be nasty to other people, is it? So it was like, it was like, you know... You can't go outside, Crystal. You can't go outside. I had to fight past people to get in 
to get to the cathedral. When I got into the cathedral, there was one couple with a child signing the book of condolence, and I was behind them. But I basically just wanted to sign the book of condolence and leave. I don't want to do shopping. It's not a time where I want to go and do a load of shopping. It really isn't. But no, I'm not cross. I haven't got children to take to the cathedral. My children are grown up. Okay. I did manage to go to the ladies' toilet, although two men were outside and there was a male cleaner in the lavatories. There was a male cleaner in the ladies' toilets and there was two men stood out the ladies' side, the ladies' toilets, but I had to go to the toilet. But I managed to get home after going to the toilet. It was absolutely jam-packed. Um, but they weren't queuing up to go in the cathedral. They were all down the, the, the high street shopping, having coffees and laughing. There was no one in that cathedral, apart from a couple and a child, and everybody else was laughing and uh, buying things in shops and eating down the Rochester High Street. <laughs> so I'm going to have my coffee and my sausage roll indoors. Um, this is not a time to get angry and cross and act stupid. This is time to be respectful. Um, but I mean, it, other people, that's up to them what they do. But, I, you know, I, I've changed. Since I've had this haircut, I've grown into a mature woman and I, I don't act stupid and silly and make a fool of myself. And I'll see you later.